if you're not considering running your own business, do you think it's beneficial to become a master plumber? That's a good question too. Um, and it really would depend on basically the company you're working for. Do they give any incentives or, or, or raises if you become a master plumber? At least where I'm at, there, I, I was working for a company as a journeyman and I asked my employer, I was like, hey, I'm, I wanna get my master license. Would you pay me more? And he's like, well, it wouldn't change your role. It wouldn't change what I need. So not really, no, I, I don't really care, you know? And it kind of came to like, if you wanted to go out on your own, that's where it would become valuable. Mm -hmm. But again, that's a conversation between the employer and employee to see like, well, what's it worth to them, you know? And do employers ever, do they ever want their journeyman to kind of take the next step? Like, have you ever heard of those instances where they're like, yeah, I want you to become a master plumber and I'll yeah, help I, you get it. <laughs> It, it, again, that can really depend too. Um, for me in that situation, all along in the back of my mind, I had ideas of going out on my own. Mm -hmm. And so uh, my employer actually felt threatened when I was like, yeah, hey, I want my master. Or when I had my master, because then he worried. And I'll say, when I started my own company, he went so far as to send a lawsuit. Oh, wow. <laughs> there, was this, there was a non-compete agreement involved we really had to get into the details as I was starting my business, but it had to, and some companies do that. It had to do with, you You don't want it. He didn't want me going and taking his customers right. or, you know, uh, so the, the non-compete there was as long as I didn't go solicit his customers or anyone that I'd worked for in the past, you know, I could move on. And that's what we ended up working out, you know, um, without going to court or anything. But at the same time, within the, within a company, uh, let, let me go to my own. Uh, I grew my company for a while and I had a number of technicians and bands running. And I was thinking about making a career change myself as company owner, you know, I was like, maybe I'd, I would like to move into education, which I've made my focus. But in that sense, I was, I wanted one of my employees to, to take that role and more or less was grooming him to become that master plumber. So that again would depend on the company and what's happening internally. Um, some may be like, yes, please come in. And once you have that, you, you may even inherit the company. Having those licenses would definitely put you in a position to where you could. But I, the very first company I ever worked for I could see had a glass ceiling. It was two brothers that owned the company, all of their sons and in-laws that were mm. in the company. And I was just coming in at the bottom and I could see like, no matter how long I'm here, I will never be able to surpass family. Right. And I mean, I get that, you know, but that was incentive for me to go find other opportunities. So it can really vary depending on um, the company and the work situation.